Well, joining us now, our big Sunday show panel, Fox News contributor and former Wisconsin Congressman Sean Duffy, along with Fox business reporter Jackie DeAngelis, and Fox News political analyst Gianno Caldwell, who you just saw confronting politicians. That's right. In Washington, D.C. Did you get any reaction, Gianno? Did you get anyone to actually address the crisis? Danny Davis, uh, Chicago congressman, actually did, and he said something that was actually terrifying to me. He believed that Lori Lightfoot would get reelected, and he supported Kim Fox. And that makes no sense to me when you know that crime is up in Chicago overall by 37 percent. You see last year almost 300 kids, 16 and under, shot. You see a three-year-old shot last week, seven-year-old, and it's just a consistent narrative of fact. The Democrats have lost control of our cities across the country. They supported the defund the police movement, and they have exacerbated any crime that existed in any city, and now they don't want to be held accountable for it. And since my brother was murdered on June 24th on the south side of Chicago, I've been out for justice for him and families all across the country. So it was necessary for me to go to the nation's capital and find out exactly what are they thinking and hold them to account? And you can see Chuck Schumer and the squad leaders, they ran away from me. Yeah, pretty symbolic, uh, Jackie. I mean, to see those Democratic politicians run away from Giano, they're running away from the policy they supported, which was defund the police. Absolutely, and they have nothing to say about it. And this Washington Post article is so ridiculous because the author starts out by talking about your confrontation with right. Nadler and how he runs away. And he basically says, the author says that murder and shooting incidents in New York City are down relative to last year, though violent crime is generally up. Um, having said that, murder, when you compare it to 2019, pre-pandemic year, President Trump's in office, murders are up 47% in this city. So it does matter what you're looking at, right? We're not looking at the 70s in New York. New York City decades ago. We're looking at now, most recent times, and that's the change that people understand. They, they're living it every day. It's their experience, and that's what they're voting on. So that's the point that we're making when we talk about crime on this channel. It's not catnip. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it is, it is, Sean, a concern of voters. I mean, look at this, look at this poll really quickly. Voter concerns, 79% uh, higher crime rates. This is important to people, yes. Sean. And but you can't deal, deal with it by denying reality. We're like having a mind meld here because I was going to mention that. You, is Fox News doing, you know, deep fake videos to say, listen, crime is really happening. People are getting beat up on the subways and across the country, you know, getting cold cocked from behind um, or stabbed. Is, is Fox doing deep fakes or is Fox News able to control the polling? in America to show that crime is this much of an issue? You look at politicians around the country, Will. They're running on crime. They're running on inflation and crime, two big issues that everyone is seeing in their lives. They don't feel safe wh whether they walk through their neighborhood or their kids are walking down the street. So it's a real issue. Um, and, the, uh, and, the, and, the, uh, and the Times here, listen, saying don't believe your lying eyes doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. And you know what? What really pisses me off, I'm going to be very clear. Philip Bump, my brother was murdered. And you're saying that this isn't a crisis? It's absolutely a crisis. How dare you even say something like that? Then he's intellectually dishonest when he says the FBI report says that crime was relative, it went down by 1%. Well, the FBI report said that 40% of police departments didn't report. New York and Los Angeles, that we know that crime is up there. So how dare you? This is just, it just doesn't make any sense. But this explains exactly why Gallup did a poll and said that 17% of U.S. adults have uh, a confidence in newspapers. That's exactly why, because they keep lying. This is a propaganda operation. Fox News is the only network that are holding these folks accountable. You don't see this much of anywhere else in any reporting. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. We're telling the truth, and they're lying about it. And we've experienced it. I was mugged during the pandemic. I talked about it on the uh, air. A liberal blogger actually tweeted and asked me why I was crying about it on television, and did I want a cookie? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Compassion. Wow. Um, okay, we only have a little bit of time. I want to ask each of you then how you think this issue and many others plays out in the midterm. So, uh, Sean, which which races are you focused on a month roughly from now? So I'm a House guy, right? So I'm going to focus on House races. Sean Patrick Maloney, he's the chair of the DCCC. It's the House uh, Democrat wing that raises money for Democrats. He's the chair of that right here in New York City. I think he's going to lose uh, if it's a good night for Republicans. Also, Katie Porter, uh, California Congresswoman. Uh, one of the greatest liberals you've never heard of, but she is a radical, very smart liberal. 
she's going to lose. She's in Orange County, traditionally a Republican area. Um, I think she's going down. She's raised seventeen million dollars and still can't win that seat. That's how bad her policies are. Uh, Jackie, what are you focused on? I'm looking at Nevada. I'm also looking at Pennsylvania. Neck and neck in both situations. Dr. Oz has made tremendous ground from where he was just months ago. Um, and of course, Fetterman hasn't gotten up to the plate. No interviews. No debating. No talking about the real issues like the economy, which matter to voters. Um, also looking at Nevada, where right now the economy is the top issue to 44 percent of voters. 26 percent of Democrats say they care about the economy 14 per se 14 uh, percent of them say it's all about abortion but of course it's Adam Laxalt that's really focusing on crime he's focusing on the economy and he's focusing on the issues that matter to people right now in the here and now the present to that Washington Post uh, article quality we're not talking life. about the past yeah, we're talking quality about of life now. issues yeah. Gianna Herschel Walker, honestly, that Senate race, he was my first guest on my podcast, Out Loud with Gianno Caldwell. It looked at one point that he was pulling away a bit. Now it's in the margin of error. And I'm looking to see what's going to happen with this race. How is he going to reshuffle this campaign in 30 days? In addition, when we look at Warnock, he's had his own personal failings. Fox News has not verified the reporting on Herschel Walker. We don't know if it's true or not. We've seen these smears when it comes to campaigns that they can possibly win. So who knows if it's true or not? We'll find out soon enough. But this is the race I think most of the country is going to be watching on election night. Yeah. Can, just you, you, and, you and Pete have color coordinated in, in yeah. inquiry today. So the big, <laughs> big, so big Saturday, big, big Sunday have coordinated in blue jackets uh, this How morning. Cute. So we, lear we learned from yeah. you guys, right? The right. Secret so text message. Uh, <laughs> it'll be it blue, was not planned. It'll be right. the blue right. show. The blue show, the Lord, big Sunday show. We got to see what Lord Trump is wearing. We don't know. Lord, if you're watching, uh, take blue. note. It's blue. <laughs> 5 p.m. today. Check it out. Sean, Jackie, Jono, thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.